Ron Parker, happy Halloween, everybody. We have one of Chicago's favorite, best, the ultimate ghoul. He is Svengooli. Thank you for stopping in to WLS 94.7 FM and joining us today. It's great, Ron. Always happy to come and visit with people on the radio and, of course, one of my favorite stations, WLS FM. Thank you so much. See, I have a face for radio. Can't do TV. <laughs> you know how that goes, right? Yeah, well, you've seen my face, so you know, yeah. So I got a question. How long ago did you start here in Chicago uh, doing the Sven Gooley thing, introducing yourself to this lovely city? Well, I started out as son of Sven Gooley. As a follow-up to the original Sven Gooley, Jerry G. Bishop was my mentor mm-hmm. who got me into the business, and he was on from 70 to about 73, Okay. And in the time in between, there was nothing going on. We had some false starts where he wanted – somebody asked him about doing Sven Gulli again during uh, summertime just mm-hmm. as a kick. And he said, well, I don't really want to do it. And he said to me, but I think you could do it. You could be son of Sven Gulli. And we had some false starts on it, and, mm-hmm. and nothing ever came of it. But then in 1979, he went out to the West Coast, and he said, what are you going to do? And I said, well – I thought I'd maybe pitch some TV station here on doing a TV show. And he said, I tell you what, if you want to do the son of Sven Gulli thing, go ahead. And I did, and eventually it ended on air at uh, WFLD in 1979. Well, now that you've grown up, you're just Sven Gulli. Yeah, right? actually, that was Jerry who decided that uh, when I came to WCIU right near the end of 1994, he was in town and we were talking, and I said, I'm thinking of maybe, you know, changing the name or shortening it or something. Because even by the end of my run, which was around 1986, mm-hmm. uh, people were saying, you're son of Sven Gulli, but who's Sven Gulli? Because not everybody remembered Jerry's ah. character. Well, so yeah, he, it was only three years, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, he said, I tell you what, you're all grown up. Just be Sven Gulli, which was really <laughs> very nice of him. And and uh, he was always a, a very generous man, and I'm, I'm happy to be following in his footsteps. You know, you're very knowledgeable on a lot of the horror movies and stuff. Uh, Was this something as a younger person that you were into and kind of uh, learned about and studied and had your favorites? Oh, yeah. When I was a teenager, I really got into horror movies. At that time, one of the local stations was running it, like, on Sunday nights, real late. Hmm. And I just stumbled on it by accident once. And then every week I was there watching it. And I do love all the original Universal stuff, like the original Frankenstein and Dracula and, and Wolfman, those are still among my favorites. So after the uh, 80s, then what did you end up doing? Oh, after I was uh, let go, <laughs> as we like to say. From, well, you from know, the, you're not in the business until you get fired. At least you a gotta, few times, you right? you got to get yeah. fired. You know? Yeah. Uh, I ended up doing a lot of radio. Uh-huh. I did fill-in stuff. Um, I did advertising stuff. I worked with Dick Orkin. Oh, Chicken Edwin, Man. He, yeah. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. I actually worked with him on the last group of Chicken Man episodes. It was called Chicken Man Returns for the Last Time Again. Oh, how and cool was that? It was. And it was like, you know, earn while you learn. It was so cool. What a great guy. And I learned so much about, you know, doing little voice things and stuff from him. And then eventually uh, ended up back at the same station. Mm-hmm. WFLD did a show called The Co-Zone, which first was just a movie show, but then they needed somebody to host their kids show. So they moved me down to that. Uh oh, and then and of they course, didn't make you dress up as Bozo. That's good. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course they fired me again. So yeah, well, that hey, was you know, I things mean, happen. You know, it's uh, it's all circular. You know? Exactly. But then I ended up at uh, WCIU with Neil Saban, my boss, who wanted to have Sven Gulli come back again. How long you been there now? Since late 1994. Wow. Been there, and you know we progressed to. Me TV Network, so now we're seen all over the country. Which I know. Just amazing to me to, to hear from people all over the country who are watching. You know, uh, when I was young, living in the New York City area, I, and I finally got to do a Halloween show when I made it to radio in New York City, was uh-huh. Zachary. Yeah, wow. And definitely, he's one of the, the main icons of horror hosting. It was always the big three were uh, Zachary mm-hmm. on the East Coast. On the West Coast, it was Vampira. And here in Chicago, it was Terry Bennett who played uh, character. Oh, I can't think of the name on Shock Theater. Oh, Marvin. His name is Marvin. That mm-hmm. was the, it was, uh, that, no, that's, this is in the 50s. Oh, wow. And so mm-hmm. uh, that was when when he was around. But yeah, Zachary always uh, one of the top guys that all of us who are in this business uh-huh. kind of, you know, bow your head to. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, not to show my age, but in the 50s, I do remember him hosting Creature Feature and all that stuff. And, and it's just amazing because here it is, you know, almost 
50 some odd years later and yeah. I'm standing next to him doing a Halloween show in New yeah, York that City. That had to be great. But I'll tell you, it's not as good as having you here. Oh, at well, that, that's nice of you to say. No, right. it, it is an honor. I've, uh, you know, I came to the market, found out who you were uh, very quick by people that I work with who deal with you. And I would get on YouTube and uh, started watching, uh, you know, some of the clips and things that they had of Sven Gulli. Yeah, I feel like I've been doing this for a long time, and so well, <laughs> there, you know, there's plenty of material out there. From let me the tell past. you something. Bless you, and I hope you continue to keep doing this forever and ever and ever. And that's a forever is a long time. It is, but I'm I'm happy to do it. You know, you talking about this business. I'm happy to have a job. Well, there you go. We all are, aren't we? <laughs> yes. You bet. Sven Gulli at WLS 94.7 FM. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> Hi, it's Ron Parker from 94.7 WLS. Sven Gulli is with us. Hello there. And we are plotting Halloween night for <laughs> Chicago land. We got big things planned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you tune in on Halloween. Ooh.